Okay, the um, volcanic explosion that destroyed the Indonesian island in 1883 released 4.3 cubic miles of debris, 4.3 cubic miles, into the atmosphere and affected global weather. In SI units, how many cubic meters of debris were released? So they're giving us that 4.3 cubic miles, which would be written as miles to the third power, how many cubic meters? So that's what we're trying to convert to. Now the path I would generally go, because we're pretty familiar with conversion factors from miles to kilometers, and then I will go to meters. However, these are cubic units, so we do need to pay attention to the cubic relationships. Now one way to solve this problem, and there are more than one way to solve a problem, so we'll look at both ways. 4.3 miles cubed. I'm going to take what I'm given and put it over 1 multiplication sign in a new fraction line. I'm going to go from miles to kilometers. Now I do know that 1.6 kilometers is equal to 1 mile. However, these are not cubic relationships, so I will have to cube this section. Then we're going to go from kilometers to meters. And once again, we know 1,000 meters is equal to 1 kilometer. And this will also need to be cubed because just like apples and oranges are different, cubic meters and, I'm sorry, cubic miles versus miles would be different. So they need to be the same unit if you're comparing correctly. 4.3 miles cubed times 1.6 kilometers per one mile cubed times 1,000 meters over one kilometer cubed is going to give you a value of 1.7612. Times 10 to the 10th, and your answer would be in meters cubed, noticing that units cancel that are on opposite sides of the fraction. Now, another way to look at this problem again, take what you're given, miles cubed over 1. Now, many times, um, if you're looking at the initial conversion in their length relationships, we do know that 1.6 kilometers is equal to one mile. Well, p many times people might like to look at both sides and cube both sides to look at the conversion factor as their cubic relationships are known. And if you 1.6 times 1.6 times 1.6 would give you 4.096 kilometers cubed. And now that you know that you, they are cubic relationships, you can go and plug them in. 4.096 kilometers cubed is equal to 1 mile cubed. New fraction line, kilometers cubed is on the numerator, so we're going to put in the denominator here, and then we want to convert to meters cubed. Again, we could look at their length relationships, and we know that 1,000 meters is equal to 1 kilometer. If you cube both sides, 1 times 1 times 1 gives you 1. Kilometers times kilometers times kilometers gives you kilometers cubed. 1,000 times 1,000 times 1,000 gives us a billion. And then we have meters cubed for that unit as well. Now in their cubic relationships, you can plug those in here to 1. Cross off units that cancel, proving you're only left with meters cubed. And again, your answer in your calculator would look like this. However, if we're going to pay attention to the two sig figs that we started with, we're going to round our answer to two sig figs. So leaving these, we're going to look at the 6 and round up to 1.8 times 10 to the 10th meters cubed. And don't forget to box in your answer.